in this video, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I'm not hiding behind anything. I'm sharing everything up front with you in hopes that this will help some people not make the same stupid, stupid mistakes that I've made. And boy, have I made stupid mistakes. I'm 24 years old and I'm on testosterone replacement therapy at 140 milligrams of test sip per week. Pretty weird for a 24 year old to be on TRT. It didn't come organically. I made some serious mistakes that put me in this situation. Mistake number one. Three years ago, I did my first SARM cycle. SARMs are selective androgen receptor modulators currently in research and development for the use on cachectic patients or patients with muscle wasting diseases and disorders in an attempt to improve their quality of life through increasing bone density and increasing muscle mass without the male characterizing side effects that would normally come along with typical anabolic androgenic steroids like testosterone. SARMs can actually be easily ordered online, which is exactly what I did. I had read that they were essentially the baby steroid and had basically none of the side effects of steroids with all of the benefits. And that couldn't be further from the truth. SARMs have a suppressive effect on your natural endogenous testosterone as well as your HDL or your good cholesterol, very similarly to regular anabolic androgenic steroids, except for they lack in the muscle building department in comparison to regular anabolic steroids. Funny enough, people do suggest on forms that you do not need a PCT with like tamoxifen and clomid and HCG to get your natural testosterone working up and running again. When you use SARMs, they think that uh, most people are young enough to bounce back on their own and their testosterone will be back up and running within a month. I did three cycles, how dumb is that? The reason I did three cycles is this. When you get onto SARMs, you fluff up and you fill with glycogen and you build more muscle tissue and you look great and you think you look great. Um, but unfortunately for me, four weeks into my eight week cycle, I started feeling like garbage. So I got off of it and guess what? I deflated. So all that glycogen storage went away and the muscle I had built came crashing down because my testosterone was so low, I couldn't build muscle anymore and uh, I didn't have the energy to go to the gym and work out as hard because my testosterone was so low. So thus began the psychological cycle of getting back onto SARMs to fluff and pump and feel good working out again. And I did two more cycles and on, on the third one, I didn't fully recover. So my testosterone went down, I had all those negative symptoms associated with low testosterone and they did not go away. I didn't have really erections at all and when I did they were really weak and soft my mood was horrible I already had depression it was way way worse after my third cycle and my anxiety was horrible as well like social anxiety was through the roof dude it was so bad never quite fully recovered from that and so I decided you know what I think my testosterone is still low and I made the second mistake that put me where I am now which is using test boosters and people think that test boosters don't do anything and they're bullshit that's actually completely false. They do do something. The problem is they work in the beginning and then for whatever reason, we don't know why they stop working over time. It has a paradoxical effect somewhere along the HPTA. It, it somewhat disconnects your brain from your testes and your brain down regulates FSH and LH, I assume, although I didn't get blood work done. And your natural endogenous production slows down even more. So I took these test boosters and I did feel better at the beginning. And I remember actually having a wet dream and going, holy cow, this stuff is working because I haven't had a wet dream since high school. And I did feel better for a time and then the effects went away. I didn't feel necessarily worse than I did in the beginning, but I definitely felt exactly the same. The benefits of the test boosters went away and I felt like crap again. Then the final nail in the coffin was alcohol. So after all of that, I felt like such garbage. I turned to alcohol to help me make me feel better. And for like six months leading up to when I finally got help with TRT, I was drinking probably ooh, 10 to 12 beers, 10 to 13 beers a night on most nights during the week. So yeah, not good. All three of those things. SARMs, definitely, definitely a big one as far as symptoms go. And then test boosters and alcohol. All those things have been shown to have a suppressive effect on testosterone. So a bunch of stupid mistakes on my part. I went and got tested. My total testosterone sat at 262 nanograms per deciliter. Unfortunately, I was not privy of the necessary blood work. And I did not get free T tested, nor did I get SHBG or LH or FSH. Uh, apparently, my TRT clinic didn't know any better either because they didn't order that for my blood tests. But I got into testosterone, and because of testosterone, funny enough, I was able to get out of that cycle of drinking because I had a much better elevated mood to where I, when I was in that withdrawal period of 
you know, of alcohol, being withdrawing from alcohol, the outcome wasn't so bleak. I could ride through it, get to the other side, and I was fine. So now I can enjoy alcohol in moderation, and I have no desire to binge drink whatsoever. First, biggest one, SARMs. They shut you down. And anyone who says they don't shut you down is stupid. They may not shut you down the first time. They may not shut you down the fifth time you do them. But eventually, just like every bodybuilder ever, steroids and SARMs will eventually turn off your HPTA. You will not produce your endogenous testosterone anymore, and you will not bounce back after a cycle and you will need to get onto testosterone. It's a fact. Anyone who says that it doesn't have the potential to shut you down completely is completely and utterly stupid and wrong. And I'm a prime example of one of the bodies that SARMS has left behind. You don't hear people talk about it on the SARMS subreddit. All they say is you don't need a PCT and you'll bounce back in no time. The fact is, SARMS can shut you down. I'm a prime example of that. At the very least, SARMS was a catalyst of negative symptoms associated with low T that just led to me making worse and worse decisions and eventually is what put me onto TRT for the rest of my life at only 24 years old. I must say though, despite all this, I'm kind of glad it happened because I had depression and anxiety before I ever had done a SARM cycle or touched a test booster or got onto TRT and all that is pretty much gone. Like it's 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 amazing. I don't know where my testosterone sat beforehand. Perhaps it was already relatively low. I don't know. But I feel way, way better. I, I My outlook on life is way less bleak. My depression is like 10% of what it was, 5% of what it was. Same with my anxiety. And I feel like I can enjoy life like a normal person with a normal amount of energy without having to nap every day and feel like garbage and rely on alcohol to make me feel better. And it makes me wonder, is this what everyone's been feeling this entire time? Because I knew when I watched people like go through life, I was like, there's something, there's something they have that I don't. There's something about the way they interact with other people and the way they go through their own life with all the tasks they accomplish and the things they're able to do with, with vigor and energy. I was like, I don't have that. There's something missing. I thought it was my personality. And to some degree, possibly it was. But testosterone made me feel like, okay, now I'm on the same page with these people. I have, I'm on the, I'm a level playing field. I can get a freaking job done. And I have the energy to do things that I enjoy again. So I have testosterone to thank for that. And despite all the stupid, stupid, dumb, naive mistakes I've made, I'm glad where I ended up. So please be careful when it comes to SARMs or steroids or test boosters even. Do, do your research because these, these things can possibly hurt you. And it's a difficult situation when you see people who don't know any better and they get themselves into, into months and months of just, just misery from low testosterone and they don't even know what's going on. That's a sad picture and that's where I was and I know just how bad it can be and just how bleak life can get. So please be careful. Thank you for watching. I want to be nothing but open and honest with you. If you have any questions or comments, I would love to hear them and uh, have a good, fruitful discussion with you. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Someone.